Hi, story time friends. Hey, welcome to online story time at the Red Bank Public Library. I'm Miss Sierra, and I'm really happy you're here. Are you here? Are you here? Let me see something. Oh, yes. I see my story time friends out there. Hey, I'm so glad you're here today because today when i'm reading these stories to you is actually international women's day and this whole month of march is national women's history month that means we're celebrating women and all the things that women have done throughout history and around the world to contribute to our society and to make the world a better place. I wanna know if you've ever heard, has anybody ever said anything like this to you? That girls are not as good as boys? That girls can't do all the same things that boys can do? Has anybody ever told you anything like that? I really hope not. I really hope not, but guess what? Throughout history and a long, long time ago, and even not so very long ago, people used to really think that. And so women have worked, women and girls, have worked really, really hard to prove that women and girls are just as good, just as smart, just as strong, and just as capable as boys and men and that we can do whatever we put our mind to. So we're gonna read some good stories today. You know, I always wanna sing songs. I always wanna sing a song first. So I think we haven't done this in a long time. Talking about being smart and capable, we should practice our ABCs. These are basic things you gotta know before you learn bigger, more complicated things. So let's Practice our ABCs. Ready? I'm going to count us off. One, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, A, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me. I hope you were singing with me this time. I hope you keep practicing your ABCs, your counting, your colors, your numbers, everything that you need to keep learning and growing. I'm going to read you a story about a real life person who dreamt of being an astronaut. And this book is called May Among the Stars. It's by Rhoda Ahmed. I gotta put my glasses on and scoot so you can see the pictures. And this story might just inspire you. Don't you love looking up at the stars at night? Let's see. This says little May was a dreamer. They say that daydreams, daydreamers never succeed, but little May was different. A daydreamer is somebody who, even when you're not sleeping, your mind just starts dreaming of lots of amazing things. One day, May was working on an assignment for school about what she wanted to be when she grew up. What will you tell them, May? I will tell them I want to see Earth, she said. This is Earth, May, her mother said. The flowers, the grass, the forest, and the mountains. We live on Earth. I know, but I want to see Earth from out there, she said. That's an amazing plan, little May. Then you have to become an astronaut. That way you can see the earth from space. Astronaut? Do you think I could do that? Of course you can. If you can dream it, 
if you believe it and work hard for it, anything is possible, her mother said. May asked her mom to take her to the library. Look at all these books. She searched for books about space and astronauts. After dinner, May drew pictures of space. She even made her own astronaut costume out of old orange curtains and cardboard boxes. Later, she asked her dad, but how do I become an astronaut? It seems impossible. You'll find your way, May, because if you dream it, believe in it, and work hard for it, anything is possible. But space is so, so, so far away. It's closer than you think, little May, and you may get there sooner than you think. Do you guys know what this is? It's a telescope and it lets you see far, far away. It's great for looking at stars and the moon. That night, May had a happy dream. She was dancing in space surrounded by billions of sparkling stars. Below her, she could see Earth floating and turning like a shining crystal ball. Can you imagine floating out there? The next morning, May told her parents about her dream. She wanted to tell everyone. And every time she talked about it, her eyes would light up. She was so excited. In the classroom, Miss Bell told everyone to stand in a line on the rug. Today, we're all going to share our dreams about the future. What do you want to be? And what do you want to do when you grow up? Who wants to go first? I want to be a firefighter, said that little boy. Oh, you can see his imaginary um, fire helmet and his hose. I want to be a teacher, she said. And you can see her notebooks and her diploma. Football player. I want to be a mom, this little girl said. I want to go to space. I want to be an astronaut, said May. And you can see her costume and all the stars she's imagining. All the kids started laughing. <laughs> Mrs. Bell asked May, are you sure you don't want to be a nurse? Nursing would be a good profession for someone like you. Hmm? I don't want to be a nurse. I want to be an astronaut. May felt very disappointed. On her way home from school, May was quiet. She looked out the car window. Her world turned blue and cold and nothing was the way it used to be. Hmm. At home, May started crying. <laughs> Miss Bell said, I can't become an astronaut. <laughs> well, what a silly thing to say, said her mother. <laughs> She told me I should be a nurse instead, said May. Her mom wiped away her tears. My dear May, I hope you didn't believe her. Of course I believed her. She's my teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry Miss Bell didn't encourage you. But she can't stop you. No one can stop you. Follow your dream, May, and go to space. Thank you, Mom. I promise when I get to space, I will wave to you and Dad from the spaceship. 
Look, you can tell she's feeling better because she's smiling and she looks bright and all of her, um, all of her imagination is back, right? Her mom took her hand and they started dancing. You must always repeat to yourself, if I can dream it, if I can believe in it, and if I can work hard for it, anything is possible. May went on dreaming, believing, and working really hard. And guess what? She went into space and waved to her mom and dad on Earth. And that's her all grown up as an astronaut. I want to show you something. Here's a real picture of her. Her name is Mae Jamison, and she was the first African-American female astronaut to go to outer space. And here she is floating inside her ship where there was no gravity in outer space. Isn't that the coolest thing? I wanna show you one more thing. This is her now. It's not ancient history we're talking about. She's still alive and she teaches and she doesn't go into space anymore, but she is such an inspiring person. So that was May Among the Stars. I love it. If one of you becomes an astronaut, I want you to wave to me from outer space, okay? Okay, let's sing another song. Um, you know what I want to do this time is play one, two, buckle my shoe so we can practice our counting. All right, get your fingers ready. Here we go. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up some sticks. Ooh, seven, eight, lay them straight. And nine, ten, we're gonna do it again. Here we go, let's go faster. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up some sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Now nine, ten, do a big fat hen. Excellent. Excellent. Keep practicing. I know you guys can count higher than 10. How high can you count? Really? That's a lot. Excellent. Hey, look at this next book I'm going to read for you. It's called Chicks Rule. Chicks Rule by Sudipta Barden Wallen. I hope I said her name right. I gotta tell you something. Chicks rule. Do you know that sometimes people call girls and women chicks? It's like a slang word for the female persuasion. And if something rules, that means it's totally awesome. It's really cool. These are words that I used to use when I was a kid, like. So when this book says chicks rule, that means girls are awesome. Let's see what the story is all about. I'll show you the first page, the title page. Chicks rule. And there she is, look, she's studying outer space. Maybe she was inspired by Mae Jameson. All right, zoom, whoosh. Do, 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 do. She has her little rocket ship and she gets up to the clubhouse, Rocket Club, the coolest club in the galaxy. There's a meeting today, but there's a big sign on the door that says, no chicks allowed. Huh? Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. 
She's not happy about that. It says cool chicks, nerdy chicks, quiet chicks, and wordy chicks, biker chicks and rocker chicks, science chicks and soccer chicks. Coding chicks, gaming chicks, chicks who draw, oh, bow and arrow aiming chicks, chicks who draw and chicks who read, chicks who follow, chicks who lead. Chicks all travel separate roads. Chicks all carry different loads. I think the girls are all getting together. Hippie chicks and baker chicks, yoga chicks and maker chicks, army chicks and sailor chicks, sporty chicks and tailor chicks, writer chicks and chicks who teach, surfer chicks and chicks who preach. They have signs that say, no more. Enough is enough. Together, we can do anything. And chicks can do it too. Now, where are they? They're marching through the streets. It says, chicks arrive from all directions, nearing the same intersection. Though they followed separate tracks, a common hurdle holds them back. And then it says, knock, knock, knock. See somebody peeking out the peephole? You know what this says? No chicks allowed. <laughs> she takes her sign and she's scribbling. What did she do? Look. She scribbled over the N-O, and now it just says chicks allowed. But chicks are strong and chicks are smart. Chicks have guts and chicks have heart. To find this problem's best solution, each chick must make contributions. Here's a fashion designer, a space kahuna, a rocket designer, a rocket coder, a researcher, a chef. Chicks suggest and chicks devise. Chicks find ways to compromise. Chicks reflecting, chicks conceiving, chicks producing, chicks believing. What are they making a plan for? Soon chicks of different flocks and feathers work to reach the stars together. Do you see what they're making? With delight and jubilation, chicks move toward their destination. And though their journeys will proceed, chicks have learned they will succeed. Look what they made, you guys. A rocket. All in step with wing in wing. It says rumble, rumble. <laughs> Chicks can conquer anything. Wow. made it. They went to outer space. They didn't even need that club. They did it all on their own. That was kind of cool. That story is just to remind you that we can all do anything if we put our mind to it, if we believe it, and if we work really hard, right? And here's our real life example. Hey, I hope those stories were inspiring to you. I wonder what you love to do. Do you love to read? Do you love to draw? Do you love to run and jump and play? Do you love to invent things? Do you love to cook? I don't know. Everybody, this is a cool thing, that everybody has different interests and that's what makes us all special and unique. 
and you need to find what you love to do and do it and do it well. All right, let's do one more song to finish off our story time. Um, look where the song ball landed. The boa constrictor song. It doesn't really go with any of our stories, but it's a fun song. And you know what I love to do? Sing silly songs. So let's do it. I'm going to scoot back so you can see some of my body parts. Ready? Here we go. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. And I don't like it very much. Here we go. Oh no, oh no, he's up to my toes, he's up to my toes. Oh gee, oh gee, he's up to my knees, he's up to my knees. Oh my, oh my, he's up to my thighs, he's up to my thighs. Oh fiddle, oh fiddle, he's up to my middle, he's up to my middle. Oh darn, oh darn, he's up to my arms, he's up to my arms. Oh heck, oh heck, he's up to my neck, he's up to my neck. Oh dear, oh dear, he's up to my ears, he's up to my ears. Oh dread, oh dread, he swallowed my head. All right, good job everybody, that was fun story time. Hey, I forgot to tell you, I put a bunch of books behind me of some great stories about women through history and all the cool things that they've done. We've got lots of books at the library. Check it out. Look us up online. Don't forget to watch all our story times and programs on our YouTube channel and on Facebook. And I'll see you next time. All right? Have a great day. Bye, friends.